guys, so I'm going to do my August favorites because I kind of like doing favorites videos. Okay, so um, I feel like I don't have a lot because usually I have like tons of things in my favorites video. Um, but I kind of had a very hexic um, month. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Huh, I have a lot of skincare. So I guess I'll start off with makeup. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'll start off with mascara because I have two. The first one is from Lorac. And I've been, like, obsessed with this mascara. The Lorac Special Effects. And it has a primer. And then it has a, obvious, uh, just like a regular um, mascara. And it's really super black. It really separates your lashes. Lengthens. And it doesn't really volumize because it's so good at, like, just, like, getting in between all the lashes. And just, like, pulling them up. Because the brush is so defined. I don't know if y'all can say because I'm on my MacBook because my camera is dead. And then what I also really love is the primer side has the exact same brush. So it's not going to clump your lashes that like, no, normally when I get a mascara primer, which I don't have anymore because I returned them all because they were all very sucky. I didn't like them. Um, normally when I get a mascara primer, it's just... Um, the, the primer is good, but the brush is just, like, blah. Like, it's just, like, bad. So, I get primed lashes that are all clumped together. And then, once that dries, I, it's already, like, so tight that my regular mascara doesn't comb through it good enough. So, I don't know. I just really like this mascara, and that's why I like it. And then the other one I've been loving is the CoverGirl Lash Perfection. And this one is pretty much the same deal why I like it. Because it, the bristles are so separated and it's so black. I think these two, you could definitely get away with um, using just one. Because usually I layer my mascaras. But if I'm going on vacation or something or going to my dad's, I'll just bring one of these. And I can just get away with the most, like, lashes. Um, lipstick is another CoverGirl thing. It's the Temptress number 400. I wore this in a couple of my Instagram photos. I've had this for a while, but it's just like this hot pink color. And the thing I love about CoverGirl lipsticks is that they're so, they like, they leave a stain behind, like especially the darker ones, but I really like this one. So, yeah, it's just a nice hot pink color. And if you're looking, one from the drugstore is pretty cool, bro. Go pick it up. I feel like I have to say that. And then for eyeshadow, I've been loving Shaney Cosmetics. Actually, sent me a whole thing. This is from Shaney Cosmetics. You see this right now? Nicole was trying to play with it the other day in my one of my vlogs. Um, but this palette I've been obsessed with. Um, obviously, like I said, it's from Shaney Cosmetics, and it says 40. I don't know if that's just, like, a random sticker or if that's really, like, the pr the palette name or, like, number. Obviously, no, it's number, it's name 40. No, just kidding. Um, but these are the colors. It kind of reminds me of the BH Party Girl palette, but my mom actually dropped that one while we were leaving the hospital one time. And, like, it kind of shattered all over. So, I'm really upset. And I'm really sad because that was legit my favorite palette in the world. And I don't have a favorite palette until that one came along to my life. But then it got shattered by my mom. And then I was sad. I still have it. But it's just not the same. But this one kind of reminded me of it. It doesn't really have any neutral colors. I mean, I guess some. It has a matte black, a shimmery brown and then it has like a neutral matte ish um transition color and then you have a little bit of oranges you have that bright um yellow and then like greens and then blues and pinks and oranges purples everything that you could want in a neon palette and i'm planning to do a review probably soon maybe in the next month or two because i just have so many videos to do but, yes, I have been loving And their brushes are, like, really cool. 
for eyeliner, which I've just been lately doing the staple wing liner, and then maybe nude or a red or a pink lip. So if it's pink, I'd probably do that one. If it's red, I would do Max Such Flare and Max Brick lip liner. But this one's limited edition, and I'm really sad because this is my second one, and I'm just kind of obsessed with it, and I don't know where to get it because it was so popular. Um, but yeah, uh, so liner I was talking about. From Lorac, it's the Front of the Line Pro Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah, it's all pro, you know. What I like about it is it, it looks like a pen tip or a felt tip, but it's really actually bristles. Like, I can't show you because, like, well, I can, but I don't know. Like, it's bristles. Do you see that? So, like, it, you really get the flexibility in the way it's shaped is really cool because it kind of like it's it's like this but it has a little curve right here so you can really get a defined line and I really 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 like it because it's black it lasts all day and the thing that I like about it is at the end of the day you could go like this and it doesn't crack because that's what happened with, to me with the Maybelline Master Drama not Master Drama um the liquid on there line stiletto and the L'Oreal one did that so see no 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 cracking Let's get crack a <laughs> Alright, so for my birthday, Tweezer Man sent me a bunch of stuff. Um, or I think they just sent it in general as like to a warm, a warm hello. But they gave me this set that I've been obsessed with. It's like a, a brass set. And these little mini Tweezer Man tweezers came in it. And I've like been obsessed with them. So yeah, the pink and yeah. Which my favorite colors are blue, majority of a blue, and a little bit of pink. My room. Well, obviously yeah, I'm obsessed with zebras, but like blue and pink are just my my lovers. I love them. So for my brows, I usually use Max Brun and Wedge, but I they just got so chaotic. Like to use two eyeshadows and then have to take out a brush and everything. It sounds like really easy. Like, it, it just sounds like I'm lazy, but I'm not, I promise. Well, I am lazy, but, yeah. It was just a lot of things to do. So, I, um, Sephora, I don't know what Sephora, but one Sephora in this United States sent me a huge box for my birthday just as, like, a, just a friendly thing to do. So, thank you. If you know you sent me a huge box, like, Shimungo, then thank you so much. And this was actually in it. It was full of different brands, different goodies, and it was just really, really cool. Um, but this is the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. And I am in the shade. What shade am I in? Clay Pencil for Brows. Come on, what shade am I in? I have no idea the shade. But it's like this color. It's like a brown. And I'm wearing it now, but, like, I didn't really fill in my brows today. I love it because it's so super, super thin. It lasts a really long time. It lasts about, I test things that, like, waterproof things. I test them out at the beach because, I don't know, because it works. Because the beach takes off stuff, like, in the water. But it lasted about half the time at the beach when I was wearing this. It comes with the tight spoolie, which I like because then it really combs your hair. Unlike the... The big spool, spoolies, they don't like really do anything. They just kind of make your eyebrows go eh. So this one kind of makes them look cute. So I've got a bunch of gift cards for my birthday. And so I went to Sephora and I got the Stila Kitten eyeshadow, which I've been loving for my inner corner. Stila Kitten, super, super pigmented. So party. Kind of like a pigment, oh, la, la, la. a really, really pigmented sin, but I think more expensive, and from Stila. Yeah. All right. Now we, ooh, wait, okay, so, like, this is my everyday drawer, like, in here. Want to see it? Yeah, that's my everyday drawer. Um, so I'm also going to show you a little bit of stuff from here, but not a lot. What have I been using, like, a lot? 
obviously both my MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finishes. I got two because one is a medium dark and medium. I use medium for the center of my face and then this for the outer part of my face. But mostly just this all over and this under my eyes because I'm really tan right Not really tan. Well, obviously this light be washing me out. Ooh. But this um <laughs> kind of fits me the best right now. I mean like my back is really tan. But um the tan line right there. That's nasty. But this is mostly my winter-ish color. So, yeah. Check that out. Also, I've been loving lip stains because, uh, like I said, I've just had a lot of things going on. So, I'll throw out some eyeliner, concealer, brows, and lip stain. Um, and this is the Stila Passion Fruit Crush Lip and Cheek Stain. I like it. It's kind of a, like a gel consistency, and it can, it's just like a little applicator thingy, brush, whatever. And it's a clicky, no, twisty, and I really, really, really like it because it stays on a very long time. Stayed on the whole day at the beach. Um, I haven't really been highlighting um, this this month because I've been just chilling like a villain i have two blushes from mac that i've been loving frankly scarlet and pink swoon uh frankly scarlet is very new to me it's just a hot red color i wore this in an upcoming video that i still have to edit um but just so take this just a little bit hey guys on a sibling brush put it like right here <laughs> so pretty and then like i said pink swoon this was actually sent to me um as a like uh one my camp counselor her mom like is obsessed with mac and lancome i think and she just sent me the makeup she didn't want which i thought was pretty cool so shout out to you but yeah obviously this dent is not from me yet because i've only used it a couple times but it's just like legit the perfect pink for mac and you need it if you go to mac tell me if you guys want a mac starter kit so i can do that i can show 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 do that Anything else? No, not in that drawer. Okay, now it's a skincare. Okay. Uh, keep saying okay. But I've been loving, well, I really need to start taking better care of my skin because when I was in the hospital and stuff, I had a really high fever and they gave me Tylenol and I, and I obviously I sweated off. So I got really sweaty and I was wrapped up in covers and the sweat just kind of gave me those sweat bumps back here, which I got away from doing like scrubs and everything on my body. Cause I used to have those all the time from being in the hospital and having that same routine I, weekly. Um, and I finally got them away and I went into the hospital cause I had a fever and this was like a couple months ago. And I, those bumps on the back of your arm, a lot of people have, those are from sweat from the sweat like almost clogging your pores but I have those again and I just wanted to take the time in my nightly routine to just kind of scrubby and do my face and all that so I picked up a new mask at Sephora with my gift cards that I have for my birthday and in my box that Sephora sent me for my birthday like the big one that I was talking about they sent me this uh, mask in but the white one and I was obsessed with it so I went to Sephora and I saw this and it was black I mostly got it because it was a black mask because like that actually it's actually like black and I thought that was kind of cool and I posted a picture on Instagram of me wearing it so if you want to see that follow me on Instagram I live on Instagram and if you want to know what I'm doing every day Instagram is the place but basically this helps with your pores and just helping to renew them and tightening your skin and just overall the general gift of your face and the white one helps with brightening and clarifying and all that stuff. So, and I want to get the detoxing one. I don't know like which one it is, but there's one from that Sephora sells and it's supposed to detox your skin and my mom's very into like detoxing our body and like juicing and all that crap. Mm, I don't even want to talk about that stuff. That stuff's nasty sometimes. But I've been really loving this mask. Mask. I've done it about twice. Um, and it's a peel-off mask. But eventually, since my hair is growing back a lot, um, I have, like, peach fuzz on my face now. Like, not like peach fuzz, but you know how you have hairs on your face, obviously. Um, 
so when you peel it off, it really hurts. So eventually, I'm just like, ow, okay, my face feels like it's burning off. So I just hop in the shower and scrub it off. Not scrub it, but it comes off with water, obviously, but I like this. Um, I use this about every other day. It's a St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Exfoliating Scrub. And I know a lot of people say not to use this because it scratches your skin. You shouldn't use it every day because it does scratch your skin. But exfoliating is something good to do. The next product I'm going to show you is really good for the next step of exfoliating, which is microdermabrasion, which I'm actually uploading a, view, a review on on my mom's computer. But... This I just really love. I really recommend it. Um, I got this because of Michelle Fawn because she was doing one of her old videos. She was doing like um, the on the go uh, like review in Walmart or something. I don't know. She, of skincare and she was like she likes this stuff. So I got that and my mom also loves this and my mom has really big pores. Um, but she is trying to find skincare for that. So yeah. Not like really big pores, but like she she likes to take care of her skin. Um, so this the next thing is the PMG, and I'm having a review on this soon. I know, I know, it looks a little bit odd. I know, but it's the PMG stands for Personal Microdermabrasion, and yes, there's lipstick on it. We're not gonna look at that, okay? But you plug it in, you turn it on, and right now I have the blue head in it because that is the um, least roughest, I guess how to say it um and basically it's microdermabrasion but at home and it get, it's just amazing i've used it about three times in the past long time because i feel very bad for um the company the company actually sent me that because i reached out to them about it because i really wanted to try it and my mom was just so excited because she does microdermabrasion for a living so she was just like oh that was so cool if we did a review together which we're going to but the review i'm going to put up that's uploading she's not in it because uh, i had to get the video done as soon as i got home from the hospital and everything but Next thing, this is from Sephora. It's basically just this facial brush. This is just the, um, it's kind of like, what is this? Like silicone almost? And then it has the bristles, which look like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I hate when that happens. And then it just comes with a cover. I like this for just doing it whenever, you know. And then the Pond's Dry Skin Cream Rich Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at the drugstore. Um, I really like it because it's just, it's a heavy duty one, but I just got it because I needed a moisturizer in New York while I was with my dad for break, and this is the one I got, so I'm good, just going to use it up. It's not the best, but it's definitely been a favorite of mine during the month, and the trick that I use, because I don't like, I feel like when I put a moisturizer on, it doesn't sink into my skin. I just feel, feel like it sits on top. It's just nasty. I don't know. I just... Blech. So when I put that on, I put that on, well, okay, I put that on and then I take this side of this thing and this is how I put it in. And you'll just feel that it sinks into your skin so, so, so amazingly. And I just really like it. And yeah, that's pretty much my favorite video. Yeah. You guys should follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page. Um, yeah, that cool stuff sounds awesome. That was my favorite video. If you guys liked it, please thumbs up this video because you don't want to thumbs down it. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>